A historic drop in penalty flags helped lessen the spotlight on NFL officiating in 2020. So did the abolition of replay review for pass interference. But the arrival of postseason football has raised scrutiny on every questionable call, rule interpretation and review. No worries. We're here for you. What follows is a real-time breakdown of the calls you shook your heads at, screamed at the television for or were otherwise confused by during the wild card round. The most recent plays are at the top. Rams Seahawks wild card game, 540 remaining, first quarter what happened? As Rams quarterback John Wolford dove to the ground after a two-yard run, Seahawks safety Jamal Adams lowered his right shoulder and hit Wolford in the head. Officials initially threw a flag against Adams. Wolford left the game and was replaced by Jared Goff. How it was resolved, referee John Hussey announced there would no penalty because Wolford was considered a runner and thus wasn't subject to protections normally afforded to quarterbacks. Analysis, it's true that Wolford wouldn't get quarterback protection on that play, but the original flag was still merited. It is still an unnecessary roughness foul, according to the NFL rulebook, because Wolford was diving to the ground and thus giving himself up. That means he is classified as a defenseless player, and opponents are prohibited from forcibly hitting the head or neck area of such players. It was the second consecutive year the Seahawks had knocked a starting quarterback out of a playoff game with a hit to the head. In that case, Jadeveon Clowney's hit on Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz was considered incidental and not forcible. Colts Bills wild card game, 50 seconds remaining in fourth quarter what happened, on 4th and 10 on the Colts' final possession of the game, receiver Zach Pascal was credited with a 17-yard catch and fell at the Bills' 46-yard line. Pascal got up and fumbled, which was recovered by the Bills in what would have been a game-clinching play. Officials on the field, however, ruled that Pascal was down by contact after initially falling. How it was resolved, Bills coach Sean McDermott called a timeout as the Colts hurried to the line of scrimmage, but he could not challenge because there was less than two minutes remaining in the game. During the timeout, NFL senior vice president of officiating Al Riveran reviewed the call. It was not immediately clear if his review stopped the game, or if it was McDermott's timeout. Regardless, referee Brad Allen announced that the call would stand with no further explanation. Was it the right call? The NFL said on Twitter that there was no clear and obvious evidence available to overturn the ruling, and there was no pool report requested in Buffalo to further explain. Because replays seem to confirm that Pascal was not contacted before he got up, and that he was not down when he lost possession of the ball.